Hi there, students. Bunk or bunkum. Okay, if, if you say that something is bunkum, it's untrue, it's stupid, it's a load of old rubbish, it's absolute nonsense. Um, we have both the words bunkum and bunk. I think probably the word bunkum is really very old fashioned and I think nowadays I would just use the word bunk. Everything he's told you, it's a load of old bunk. Stop talking such bunk. Yeah, um, the politician stood up and uh, gave the same old bunk again in his speech. Yeah, Bojo told us that everything's fine and there's nothing to worry about and everything's perfect. Yeah, just the same bunk once again. So empty talk, nonsense, something that's ridiculous. It's just uh, got nothing, n nothing in it. It's claptrap. It's pure humbug. Okay, so bunk or bunkum, complete nonsense, something that's not true. Yeah, his theories are just sheer bunk. There's absolutely nothing to them. Um, yeah, he, the uh, advertisement is always giving a load of bunkum about their products. Yeah, a load of nonsense, gibberish. They're just blathering again. Okay, so bunk. Yeah, this is a load of old bunk. Notice, maybe you know the phrase or the verb to debunk. Okay, to debunk is to expose the falseness of something. So people uh, widely believe that this is true and we need to find a way to debunk uh, this, uh, these false ideas. Okay, so to debunk, to show, show that something's absolute rubbish. Okay, so bunk. Yeah, this is just total bunk. It's senseless. It's absolute bunkum. Don't believe a word of it. Yeah, he's just giving us more of the same old bunk. So let's see. Formality. It's a load of bunk. Um, he was talking bunk. I'm going to give it a 4.5 in formality. Um, bunkum. It sounds very old-fashioned, although it's probably still informal as well. May, maybe 4.75 for Buncombe. Uh, they were talking Buncombe. It's still a bit informal. <coughs> OK, the origin of this word is um, quite interesting. Um, so let's see, the word Buncombe comes from a place called Buncombe County in North Carolina um, and apparently there was a, um, uh, a representative in the American Parliament in 1820 in the House of Representatives who um, made a speech um, that was really long and boring and they, everybody asked him to stop. And then he explained he wasn't actually speaking to the people in Congress, but he was uh, speaking to the people of Buncombe County, of Buncombe County, his, uh, his constituents. And uh, after that, the, this word Buncombe uh, became uh, uh, a word that was used in political circles, initially just to mean political claptrap, political nonsense, but nowadays just any kind of nonsense, yeah? So it used to be jargon, but this word bunk is now in uh, common usage, yeah? So notice my explanation is not bunk, yeah? Um, th this apparently is a true story. <laughs> I even say apparently. Okay, so bunk, empty, insincere talk, a load of drivel, garbage, hogwash, guff, balderdash, yeah? It's a load of drivel, piffle, poppycock, yeah? Uh, just a load of old twaddle. Yeah, that's a good set of uh, words for you. Okay, so yeah, this is bunk. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, 
give it a rating. If you thought it was bunk or bunkum, then you could uh, say so. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bunk and bunkum.